Hey guys, I just wanted to say some of the music videos I put out were like satanic. I didn't even realize it. The Lord showed me the tattoos and everything on them and the manipulation that was going on. So just scratch those music videos. I apologize, people. It's been like a year or something. It's been like a little over a year, you know, that the Lord's woken me up and I didn't realize that everything was piled up the way it was and that everything was being manipulated the way it was, even through the music, the kids, the bit. So anyways, I'm just taking back those music videos that I put on there because they were satanic and I didn't even realize it. I thought they were worshiping God, but it turns out they were manipulating and they were worshiping Satan. So you just got to pay attention to what you're doing. Just be true to God. Don't start looking for all the manipulation that's going on. You'd be so surrounded by it. You won't even, you know, just pray to Jesus. That's all there is to that. You know, there ain't no other way. You know, straight up. Just have a conversation with him. You know, person to, to, to our creator. You know, he knows everything that's going to happen in this day before it even happens. It's a trip. I'd be watching the turmoil that's going on. And by the end of the day, the Lord literally shows me these, this pic, you know, he summed it all up in the morning. He shows me something and I don't know, I'm like, what's that? And then by the end of the night, <laughs> that was the end all. Of all the crap that they had planned for the day. So. Just want to let you know our Lord's listening. He's everywhere. He's omnipresent even in the. Even in the bad things. So if things are going really bad. And you know you're in there. And you know them demons are starting up. With their manipulation. And they're getting hungry. And they're trying to manipulate you. And suck you into the stories try to keep you tripped up on who you are or what your next move is or to try to figure out who you are in this crap story that he dumped on your head while everybody's you know playing their parts don't play no parts just pray to Jesus and wait for that crap to leave don't let yourself be manipulated by some life sucking game you're beautiful don't ever let, don't ever be a puppet for anybody, but for Jesus. And Jesus didn't make you a puppet. Straight up, you're in the most blessed vehicle, your body. Man, you made it into this body. Make it into the next one. Don't succumb to these manipulated stories. Don't make yourself a puppet. You're beautiful, man. You're awesome. Every single one of you has got a talent that our Lord looks for and lives through. Don't let your light be pushed out by manipulated lies from the devil. And don't succumb to manipulation in your body and in your mind and in your spirit. You're golden. Gold has nothing on you. This earth is going to pass away and you're going to see that you are blessed. You've been created by the most awesome God that's in control of every single thing that is around you, that you breathe in. Control yourselves and breathe out. Breathe out fresh air. Praise you, Holy Father. I pray that these people just seek you, Holy Jesus, and your Father, in your way, and seek their freedom, and seek who they are, their stars in the sky. Not to be manipulated. We're not little puppets. You gave us the the words can't even describe what you've given us. We can't even attain the imagination in these bodies of what you've given us. We can't even feel 
the physical presence of what you've given us yet right now. You've got stuff waiting for us that blows all this away. This ain't even nothing compared to what you have. This is just the beginning right here. Be part of it. It's the most beautiful, loving growth. Our Lord, Father, Jesus. The reason why we're on this planet right now is because He has a plan. He wants children. He loves every experience that you have, everything that you do. He lives through you. He's omnipresent. Tell Him I love you. Say thank you for this body, Holy Father. Say I know every, you know, this is what I say. I know that we turn, you know, things have turned their back on you and this situation is the way it is. But I'm not going to succumb to it. Because I'm still here, Holy Father, and you blessed me and you gave me life and we're going to make it through this. You knew what was going to happen and you still gave me life. And I'm going to come home so we can move on with your next plans. Praise you, Holy Father. I love you. We want to grow in you and become a humongous, beautiful family and prosper. Spread love and beauty all over the world. And fill our hearts with real, true joy and love. And real life. We can live through you, not be manipulated, not manipulate ourselves. We live through you, Jesus. You gave us eternal life, you covered our sins. You love us so much, our Father God. You sent down your Son in the flesh, your Word, your beautiful Son that dwells with inside of you, that helped you create everything came down in the flesh to save your people. Our God's omnipresent. He's in every moment and every time. Let's be sons and daughters. Praise you, Jesus. Amen.